In this week's video, I'm at one of my favourite photography locations, the Rain Peninsula. I've grown up close to the fishing villages of Corsan and Kingsand, where I've had the privilege of taking photos around the local area since I was a kid. But this week, I'm just around the corner at Whitsand Bay. Famous for its views and vast sandy beach, I'll be taking photos of incredible seascapes, giving you tips and tricks along the way, but I'll also have some big highs with dramatic conditions, but also some low moments with wet weather and struggling to find compositions. But we start here, as I make my way down to quite possibly my favourite seascape photography location of all time. Surrounded by history, wildlife and rocky coves, this location really is the best. I really hope you enjoy this video, but for now, we start here. At Penley Point on the Rain Peninsula. Whoa! Look at that! Superb light! Incredible conditions! What a way to start the video! Whoa, I'm gonna get some good photos. I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm really looking forward to making it. I'm looking forward to having a nice, decent week of photography, videography, just enjoying myself. And as you'll be able to tell by this wind, it's gonna be a bit crazy. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's take some photos. And here we go everyone, here's our first composition of the video. We've got this fantastic rock pool behind us. I'm in portrait mode. I've got a ND graduated filter, which is gonna darken the top of the sky and it's gonna be able to give me the beautiful yellow color um, in natural form, which I always love of the rock and the rock pool. Yeah, um, it's been crazy so far, I have to admit. I mean, I've just jumped out of the car. The wave nearly hits us, but I guarantee you we are safe up here from the sea. We are not going to get wet at all, which is perfect. Wow, just beautiful conditions so far. I think the clouds are about, the clouds are about to cover the sun, and therefore there's a ship just to the left of it. I'm going to quickly grab a photo of that. I'm going to talk you through this composition. And as you'll be able to see, the sun is just quickly hidden behind the cloud. It's going to give me the perfect time to explain to you this composition as it just... You could say the sun's setting, but I think it's really about to start to liven up. I got a feeling we might get some nice colours in the clouds, but I'm just, just hoping the sun's going to peak below the cloud and it's going to shine all on the rock and the rock pool. It's going to be really nice. But for now, I'm just going to quickly show you the composition. I like it. We've got the rock pool here. We've got a rock situated here, just in the top half, sort of, of the frame. We've got Rame Head, we've got St. Michael's Chapel, you'll just be able to make out. We've got the rock here, and of course the sea. Now I'm really liking this band of cloud at the moment, even though it's hiding the cloud, because it might just add that bit of detail in the top half of the frame where the sky is. We're getting it. There's a gap in the cloud. The sun is just barely peeking through, but we're getting that really rich sunlight. Beautiful colour. Let me just trick, quickly grab a photo. Oh, it's so, so nice. Oh, very lucky. I knew there was cloud on the way in, and I think we've just managed to get it. I just want to quickly position myself where I was before, just to make sure the composition is all good. So ships are passing there. Absolutely love it. Oh, this, this is, seascape photography is 100% my favorite. Especially when you've got the ships, you've got the sea, you've got beautiful view like that. Yeah, really nice. Fantastic way to start. Yeah, um, 
I hope you like this photo. So I really hope you liked that photo. Now what I've quickly done is put the camera into landscape mode and I'm just trying to get a photo. Oh, look at that. Can you see that glow? <laughs> oh, I wasn't ex wow, I wasn't expecting that. What I was saying is I'll quickly put the camera into landscape mode as quickly be able to see there. And oh my, oh my, I've completely lost track now. So that is it. Look, at, look at that glow on the sun. Wow, that is something else. Oh, this photo looks quite good. Um, let me just put you down for a second. I'm gonna quickly get some photos and I'll see you in a minute. And now the sun has 100% gone down beyond the horizon. I'm just gonna look at the photos I just took. Let's see what they're like. Oh yeah, they, these are, Oh, that, this one's really nice. The same composition as I showed you with the rock ball, the rocks. We just got that warm glow of the sun on the horizon. We got that big bland of black cloud. Probably rain, so I'm gonna quickly make a move in a minute. But wow, this what a fantastic start, as I've probably already said, to today's, um, well, not today's video, the whole video for the week. Yeah, I really hope you like these photos and I'll see you. I've been walking back through the trees in the dark or when I arrive at the chalet at Whitsan. As I arrive at the chalet where I'll be staying for the week with my family, I was greeted with a nice hot chocolate and therefore it was time to sit down for the evening as the clouds began to gather in front of the moon and hope the bad weather would pass by quickly overnight. White, Portland, Plymouth. West, three to five. Backing south or southwest, four to six later. Showers, rain later. Good, occasionally moderate or poor later. And as a rain and wind lashed against the window, it was a morning to read upon some of the local history and wait until the poor weather had passed by. And luckily, it wasn't too long to wait. Let's go. As you'll be able to see, I'm heading away from the sea, and that's because I'm heading to the Canteen Cafe at Maker Heights, of which is situated in Old Nissen Huts from World War II. They do, in my opinion, the best scone in Cornwall and a decent hot chocolate as well. And after enjoying the cosy atmosphere, I was back at Whitsand Bay and heading to our next photography location. And finally, the rain has stopped, found a gap in the weather, and we're down on Tregenhawk Beach here at Whitsand Bay. Really nice beach to photograph. I really like it down here. And I've quickly found a first composition, a really nice one, I think. The sun's gone, as per usual, the fleeting weather, especially in Cornwall, that mizzle had come in, disappear, sun had come out, and it all come back in just as quick as it came. But yeah, we've got this rock here. We've got a little bit of rubber piping, but the, uh, the sky at the back is what caught my eye. A minute ago when we had the sun, we had this really flat light to the right and the bright light to the left. And that's what caught my eye, but I think it's gonna make a really nice one by one uh, ratio image. Um, got the graduated filter once again. But yeah, let's take this photo, shall we? So I've got the composition here. I've got some really nice sunlight to the left, which is 
helping create the warm colour in the sand and the graduated filter at the top half, which is ND8, um, ND8 natural density, that's it, um, which is helping to darken out the sky, which I think is superb. There's some dog walkers coming towards me. They might add a bit of nice, um, what's the word, character to the image. That would be very nice. Right, so I made good use of that sun, and as per usual, the heavens are about to open ever so slightly. We're gonna get that cornice missile, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the composition. We've got the one by one crop goes to about there. You'll see the rubber pipe in there. We've got the main prominent rock there. Another bit of seaweed maybe rope there. We've got the sky, which as I will be able to show you what the graduator filter helps with, as you see the raindrops. Look at that. And of course, it's helping me keep the perfect Lee Natural sand, which I always love, of course, in my photos. It's about to get interesting, so I hope you like these photos. But we're gonna take down here for today's little adventure. But for now, I hope you like this photo. And there we go, I hope you like those photos. And as I was just finishing up, I spotted another composition, quite literally just next to the rock. And I'm gonna use these footprints, which I think look absolutely superb, as a leading line, albeit they're coming in this direction, leading away from the frame, it's still gonna be a really, really nice photo. I'm just gonna quickly show you it, so I hope you like it. And just as I was about to show you the composition, a wave's come in and it's just, ever so slightly damaged the composition, but I still think I can show you it superbly. We've got a rock in the middle here, rain head out the back, we've got the darkening skies, which of course the ND grad filter on oh, the front here is gonna be perfect for. I'll just quickly show you if I can, the difference it is making. There we go, just darkening the sky and the uh, horizon there, but it's actually a bit of um, fog, so it's just piercing through that a bit, which is quite nice. And of course, then we've got, oh, we've got the footprints leading here. And here we go, the missile is now properly coming in. The tide's coming in as well. So for the moment, I think I might just retreat back, maybe behind the rock, but albeit, I really hope you like this photo. And yeah, I'm gonna try and hide from this missile. And just like that, the tide comes in here very, very quick. So I've made sure to check the tide times, always key when shooting seascapes. Because as you probably won't be able to see, but we were taking photos on just around here, those two rocks there. It's been oh, about 10 minutes, I reckon. And I mean, that's coming quite away, I have to say. But yeah, I was, not so much in a rush, but I was keen to get the photos and I was having to clean the uh, raindrops off the uh, ND graduated filter, of course. And so, yeah, I think I might have got a few more uh, decent photos. So if I did, I'll show you them now. But for now, I think oh, this tide is coming in very, very quickly. And so, yeah, this might be today's little uh, section finished. But if not, we're going to come back down later to just the lifeguard uh, hut which is used in the summer to see what we can see. So I hope you like these photos for now.
The weather for Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly overcast and breezy with showery spells, some occasionally heavy. Highs near 13 Celsius, that's 55 Fahrenheit. It reached high water along the Cornwall coast a couple of hours ago, so the next highs are late this evening at Falmouth at 8.31 and at Padstow at 8.41. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Tregan Hawk Beach here at Whitsand Bay where we're in some miserable conditions. Maybe I should pound behind me or you might be able to see maybe some fog just lingering up on the cliffs. But yeah, not the nicest of mornings but I'm really going to try and get some photos this morning to match the conditions which I think I'm going to be able to get a few. The tide is going out so it's looking a bit promising but I'm not too sure I hope you enjoy the journey, which I'm going to take to get some photos. Um, lovely sea conditions, I guess you could call it. So yeah, let's see if we can take some photos. Well, not for the first time, I've managed to forget the spare battery for the video camera back at the chalet. I made the decision to stay down at the beach as I felt the receding tide would create some cracking photos. And so I've now come back up into the chalet where I've got a nice scone waiting for me, a cracking hot chocolate I'm sure. The weather is actually cleared up from when I was uh, down at the beach but I came up in a small rain shower as per usual. But I'm just going to eat these scones, even though it's only one, scone or scone, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to talk through a few photos I took. And of course, as I said, when I was down at the beach this morning, I really want to get some photos that match conditions. And I'm really happy to say, I think I'd done that, of course, with the last one, it kind of showed it, but I think this one I'm about to show you really does, and it's probably my favorite from the morning. So here we go, here's the photo. And as you'll be able to tell, it's really, really nice. So we've got a really prominent rock at the bottom here. It was actually slanted, so I thought I'd make a perfect leading line into the frame. And of course, it's gonna lead you into the rocks here and rain head at the top left there. You'll be able to tell that the ND grad filter really helped bring out the darkening skies up the top. There was actually a bit of mist in the atmosphere, so it really helped also somewhat pierce through that, but also uh, bring out as well. And we've got a wave coming here, and I actually took a few different ones like so. So I'll show you two and let me know which one of your favorite was below. So I hope you like it. And there we go. So I hope you like those photos and I hope I've done a good job explaining them. So for now, uh, today is Wednesday. I've got two more days left. Well, one and a half, let's call it. Um, I'm really, really happy with the photos I've got so far. So I really hope the video I'm making as well is also very good and I hope you're enjoying it. Do make sure to stay to the end of the video because I will be posting a lot more photos which I wouldn't have explained and you wouldn't have seen so far. And I definitely think it's gonna be worth staying till the end to see them. But for now, I think I'm just gonna chill here at the chalet and I know later we're gonna go down into King Sand and Cool Sand to the halfway pub with the rest of my family to have a nice meal. Uh, it's actually Valentine's Day, so it should be a nice atmosphere in the pub. And yeah, really looking forward to it. And I'll quickly bring you along when I arrive.
Now I know it's always good to talk about the positives and negatives on my channel, and this morning, even though with a stunning landscape, I really struggled to find some good compositions. I decided to head east along the coast path just to see what I could find, but unfortunately had no luck there. So of course, I headed back along the coast path and somehow managed to get muddier as I trotted on. I think it could have been the fact rain was looming on the horizon and I felt the pressure of getting photos before it arrived. But I took the opportunity to head off the coast path and check out a new location full of different compositions. I managed to get some photos and so I hope you like them. Hello again everyone, welcome back to Tregon Hawk Beach where again we're doing some seascape photography with the doom and gloom of the mist up on the cliffs there. We're actually about to get a wave that's going to go right into my composition and my feet are definitely going to get a bit wet. So what I'm doing here with this photo is as the uh, doom and gloom is lingering over the cliffs I'm capturing that in the uh, top half of the frame then at the bottom of the frame I've got the beach. Uh, I've actually got a wave coming in as well which is making a really nice photo. There's some slight hint of reflections off the cliff into the wet sand which is really nice. Um, ND grad footer is on to just pick the uh, cloud and the mist a bit more gloomy as I said earlier. But yeah I hope you like this photo shooting at a slow shutter speed uh, F9 ISO is low 64 I think. I hope you like this photo. So I hope you like that photo and I'm actually taking a quick break from the landscape and seascape scenes because there's actually two surfers out catching some waves as you do. Um, I've got one photo I think of them gnarly surfing moves as they do. Um, I'm actually trying to capture a minimalist image as like the surfers heads like in the middle of two waves. I might have got that so I'm going to show you one of the gnarly surf moves and one of the minimalist image if I have one. So I hope you like them. Really enjoying just having some fun and getting some good shots. I hope you like that photo and I've actually just grabbed another one. Another really minimalist photo. There's a dog walker in the fog and I had the ND grad still on, so it's a really atmospheric photo, very minimalist. I hope you like it, and I think we're just gonna quickly jump in to a composition here, but it's actually just started to rain. The gap we had has disappeared. I'm gonna try and quickly grab one, so I'm gonna get set up, but for now, I hope you like that photo. As you'll be able to see, the composition is all there behind me and you'll notice the reflections of the buildings in the somewhat tidal pool, I think you could call it. Um, got some raindrops on it as well, which is looking really nice. Um, got the fog as well up by the cliffs, you've got a few chalets you can see, but I've got the ND8 on. I'm going to do a try and get a two second handheld exposure. The Olympus image stabilisation should help here. Uh, F13, ISO low 64. I'm hoping this turns out to be a nice photo, so I hope you like this one too.
And just like that, the rain has arrived and I've managed to shelter between these two massive rocks here. Gear was all nicely tucked away there, nice and dry. And I've actually got two quick tips for seascape photography. So always have a tide book. Here is the uh, one we have in the UK, £1.80. Pretty much a bargain nowadays, I guess you could say. But yeah, always check the tide times just to be safe. Um, if you don't want to be out taking photos on a beach like this and the tide's coming in, because you're probably bound to get cut off. Um, second tip is to always extend your bottom legs of your tripod. Therefore, um, when you get back, um, get to some rocks here, you can always use the water to brush the sand off or let it run off. And therefore, when you move the legs back up, um, the sand's not gonna get stuck in the locking mechanisms and it's not gonna make a really strange noise as you tighten them up. But yeah, just a bit of seascape photography tips for you there. And I think now um, I'm gonna head back up the cliff because I think it's gonna get dark. Of course, the tide's coming in. Um, my photography time is finished down here on the beach and I'm hopefully going to see you in the morning at Penley for sunrise, maybe core sand. We're going to be in the area, so I'll see you then. Good morning everyone, welcome back to Penley Point. You'll see Rain Head just there, and I think we're gonna get a really nice sunrise this morning. A band of rain has just passed over, the blue sky has opened up, and I think we're gonna have a really cracking last day, last morning of seascape photography here on the Ray Peninsula. So I'm now stood on the old Falcon station here at Penley Point, which has now been removed and that's now a helipad. Just choosing my composition, so the sun's gonna rise that way. There's not much down here in terms of foreground interest or a nice photography subject. Therefore, I'm potentially thinking, taking the same composition as I did uh, on Friday, Monday, sorry, it's Friday today, of course, with the sunset, this time with the sunrise uh, light hitting directly on the land, we've still got a bit of darkening skies above Rain Head there, and I think that make, might make a really nice composition. Right, so I made the smart decision of actually just taking a quick walk by myself without the camera, just down around here where I thought there might not be a composition and I've actually found a really nice one. I'm happy to say portrait Andy Grad is on. Um, the sun is just peeking through the cloud. Really, really cool foreground here. Really sharp, uh, jagged rocks, that's the word. Um, the sun is shining down really nicely on the water. Uh, really nice sky as well, really nice photo, um, 15th of a second, F13, ISO low 64. Um, of course, ND Grad is helping bring out the clouds, just darken them just a bit. Yeah, really nice photo, really good start. I hope you like this one. Right, so I hope you like that photo. And the sun is now actually dipped behind some cloud. So we've actually got some really nice sun rays. So of course, I'm making sure to get as many photos as I can. I think I found a nice one with just a bit of land to the left. The sun rays beaming down just to the right. You've got some darkened clouds just above it. I think it's a nice photo. So I hope you like that one. I think now we've got to head towards um, the composition we did on Monday evening and there might be rain on the way, so it could get interesting. So I've had to be really quick here. I've reached a composition from Monday evening. We just had some really, really stunning sunlight on the composition. Really nice. Um, 
Just a bit of a tweak to the last one. I'm incorporating a bit more of the big rock on the left there because the waves that I was hitting it, as it's receding back into the sea, you're getting a really nice water trail. So a slow shutter speed to help with that. Yeah, that's a really nice photo. Um, yeah, I hope you like this one. And we're just gonna sit around now and see what other compositions arise. Again, everyone so what I've been doing is just enjoying taking pictures of some gannets I've got some clips for you to show you but I've got some really nice photos that I'm just about to have some nice freshly brewed this morning hot chocolate just taking in the view enjoying the last few hours I've got here but yeah been really nice so far I hope you enjoyed the videos and the photos but yeah just gonna enjoy this for now And as the tide got higher and the waves got bigger, I decided I'd move up just a bit to find a nice spot to say goodbye. And that's where you join me now, as you can see rain head just there, some waves splashing up against the rocks there. What a fantastic week we've had here on the Rain Peninsula. Absolutely fantastic. You can see why it's one of my favorite places. Just everything about it is so special. I've really enjoyed myself and I really hope my video and my photos have portrayed everything just the scenery the weather you know the good old cornish mizzle but yeah it's just been you can just be blown away by the views so i have to say you know just looking at the waves and the sea is a special place uh, i have to say that it's yeah it's pretty amazing and of course when you can come out here and take photos of it it's even better yeah, what is there to say then? Let me, let me just have a quick thing. Right, so I figured out what to say. And so I'm usually out on Dartmoor making videos, but do let me know if you're interested in maybe a few more like this. Um, fingers crossed, try and cross them, there we go. Um, soon, for a few months, I'll be here, but it's one big decision that will um, be key to that. But of course, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed just putting it all together. Uh, I've done a bit of it, so I've really enjoyed doing that, of course. Usually taking photos, but I do enjoy making these videos. And of course, being here, yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I've done a good job, so I hope I have. Do let me know what your favorite photo was, or if you had a few. Yeah, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Right, I hope you're all still here. I'm now gonna show you all the photos I've taken, which I've not shown you yet. I've got a few favorites in there, so of course, do again let me know what your favorite is, and I really hope you like them.